I'm a big brazen borrower hater. Borrower could be fine. Tide binding could be fine. The thing is, I kind of want to stay away from like three mana instants in in rhinos. Um, because now, now, because like what, what, like one one crazy thing about rhinos was you would hold up three mana, and your opponent's like, do they have tide binder? Do they have violent outburst? Do they have hard cast force negation? Do they have flame of anor? It's like. And it's like violent outburst is kind of like the card you have to be playing around the whole time, and so your opponent like holds up interaction or whatever, and then you just like cast your cast your a, a different three drop, and it's like back breaking. But you you have lost that dynamic as rhinos now, so I think it makes maybe a bit more sense to just have proactive sorcery speed plays, like potentially more to fairies. I think some number of force negation is still kind of nice, but I think I think going down is also correct. So I landed on four fire ice, two two force, one Teferi as first draft in the Wild West. Okay. Our Cascade Strat's dead. Well, I'm, we're trying to build uh, Rhino's post violent outburst. What 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 is your ban list alignment? Are you a are you a tournament win percentage purist? Are you a uh, are you a metagame share, <laughs> metagame share ban list uh, supporter? Are you someone that wants something to be banned uh, only for gameplay considerations, partially for gameplay considerations? Is it to me? I just think that there's a lot of there should just be a lot of nuance, and you just kind of have to take all of these things into consideration. But you you could just kind of you could just really think about it from so many different points of view. And you also need to understand that other people just have different opinions on how to ban how to manage the ban list. And you need to understand that <laughs> there is just it's just not possible to please everyone, but you they can they can do their best. Yeah, yeah, and at the end of the day, it is true, yeah. Most people just want their pet deck to be helped. <laughs> it's absolutely true. Pretty good against my binding. And top land will be really good here. Bella, six months, they go come back. I do my do my best to be as reasonable as I can, but it's hard sometimes when they don't uh make Arc like Phoenix tier with tier zero. You have a pet deck to hold the bias for. I have, I have more pet decks than any of you. <laughs> Does this mean Jun is good again? Always has been. Um, I'm supposed to binding the might, right? So then they don't gain the two life. Obviously not the actual play that they made. Asmo get worse. Um, I still like it in the Titan. I actually thought I, I Titan's like the matchup I'm most scared of uh, out of NT Asmo. It's probably okay. I don't, I, I don't think it probably changes a ton. I want a subtlety at Yogmoth here. <laughs> yeah, y Yogmoth is certainly the, the biggest winner of the ban. I, I tweeted, uh, uh, Chris? <laughs> this is really how it feels, though. Yogmoth's plans have just, they've just really. Been coming to fruition. Like, I just can't imagine a better year for Yogmoth. It's like, Bowmaster's printed, Halfling printed, Cauldron printed, Fury banned, Violent Outburst banned. I almost just, I, like, you couldn't, you literally couldn't imagine it, too, because, like, Cauldron is just such, like, that Cauldron and Bowmasters are, like, I don't know, it's just, like, there's just so much going on. They put the Grist on top. Surveillance for you. I mean, everybody gets surveillance. You're good in the deck. Just really, it's just re it's just really coming together. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's really coming together. Pretty sure we put two four four tramples in the play. It is pretty war accurate.
Yeah, I got two new pairs of glasses. I'm thinking they're upgrades. Shirtless Agent and Humans tribal possible. Yeah, you, people have played Shirtless Agent and Humans. It is an okay include for sure. Is your reaction? Are you happy about Albert's banner now? Uh, I mean, overall happy. Uh, Clag, also thank you for three sub. Uh, thank you, buddy. Um, overall happy. I I have I have mixed feelings about it because I, I I wish that we had seen a little bit more talk in the article about the about the win percentages of both uh, rhinos and living end, and I'm I'm kind of surprised we didn't see like a point made about that. Um, but but overall, I, I think this will likely be a positive change for modern. I think force negation gets to go back to being like the combo police of the format rather than like a com a proactive combo enabler, which it was, you know, cer certainly never felt like it was designed to be. All right, so I'm, I, let me see if they realize to float mana off this wall over. They do, I guess. I guess they always will. They have to sack the food to survive. They mentioned is it Merktide? It was it was a typo. It was not. It didn't mean Phoenix. Turn up to thirteen. The Skilled Goose is a one three. It doesn't feel like they could really. Catch if I get them down, to life. Yeah, Gorio still gets to use Force as a as as that. I mean, I. So what Gorio's gamers, please play for please play for force integration in your main. I really think you should. Um or or do whatever you want to do. Uh, but I'm a big force of negation believer. Gorios. We got the Teferi. We have binding for uh Aldrin. You can play one for yeah, they're gonna. They're, uh, yeah, I, I guess. I guess we maybe get more information tomorrow on the stream. I'd be interested in seeing it. But oh, overall, I'm happy. I, I think like in 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 general, like since the Fury Bean ban, like the metagame just has been like Rhinos, Yog, Titans, uh, Titan, Murktide, um, with like recent emergence of like Zoo and Gorios being popular and Scam kind of falling off from that initial stuff. So there ha hasn't been like no changes, but it's it's been like five months. Six months. What was it like? October or November last year? It's been a while. It's been a while, and I, I, I do kind of just feel like uh, something to like kind of break, break modern loose a little bit. Uh, ends up being a good call, and and also, and also like when you ban Violent Outburst, you do ban what is arguably the best card in the format, while nerfing two decks, not completely deleting them. I think that that's also kind of like a good a good place to kind of aspire to on your bands where you're banning the best card in the format, you're nerfing decks and not killing them, and you're opening up the metagame. It, it feels like that. these are noble things to try to accomplish with the band. Or I have to subtlety aggress. I think I should pitch subtlety. Yogg is stronger with cyber cards you have more of. That's the thing, is Yogg is just so resilient and so consistent and so fast. It is a very difficult deck to kill. Um First Totem is kind of like the it's like the colorless card that like every deck can play, but it's not like it's like two mana win the game, it's just like a good card in the match. <coughs> yeah, Sharn is pretty good. Yeah, I didn't look at the SCG 10k. Gun Saga, is this top eight? Or in Silex, yeah. I don't know. There's cards. Uh, temporary Lockdown, Path of Peril, or maybe more so Lockdown. Supreme Verdict. Yeah, you can kill Yasharn with Grim. I remember when I was playing the Creator Clash on Friday, and I was playing against the... Ooh, I was playing against the timeless version of Yogg Moth. Like, just the fact that there isn't, uh, the fact that there isn't Grist is, is a, it puts, it takes a lot of pressure off. Like, there's just, like, my creatures just aren't gonna die, and there's, you don't have anything for three mana that you can, like, cast a super crazy turn two. All your, all your payoffs are, like, four mana, Natural Order and Yogg Moth, and, like, 
I, I, I certainly I certainly felt like some pressure off there. They get wrecked by Ginger in the in game three of the top eight though. As usual, Ginger. That's their yacht, their grist. No cards in hand. Gonna sack or their half wing or this ball, I guess. And keep their 05 to block my 4 4. That would work, but I have Exalted, bitch! <laughs> Let's go. I did add the blue green surveillance. Exalted, brother. Your 05 wall of roots now suck at modern. Hour. Like, oh wait, the hedge mage is still in there. Okay, sorry. Uh, the, head, the hedge mage looks. It should have been sw uh, or the the wait. Uh, archive is still in there. I guess we'll see next turn. All right, it's not supposed to be in there. If we die by the fail. I guess I guess I joined the league too fast or something. Okay, no, it is Hedge Mage. I just these glasses ain't good enough. I guess glasses don't work. I'm not gonna cast these secondly. Our Arden play is also very good against Pick Your Poison. It's like, <laughs> like it just gives you an extra enchantment to sack, so they can't get you off the ley line of the guild pact or make you kill your ley line binding. They're recording for three. Chaos, 27 months, they will come back. The more I talk about play, the more it sounds better than not bursting right now. I mean, it isn't, but there are, like, there are upsides for sure. I want to flash in the subtlety and block halfling, probably. I think I like blocking halfling to just Try to strand top deck Yogs in their hand. What's better than one instant? I think you kill Gris there. Be a small argument for ignoring. That would be a good argument for ignoring it too. Well, they had a relevant top deck. Maybe we'll have a relevant. Or no, I've had, we've, we've had a few. It. Ah. <laughs> well, uh, I guess we take that too. This doesn't seem too bad. A land over a dismember would have been perfect, but we could take less than perfect. We got exalted five five flyer getting in. Data caster finally good. If court of calling. Let's give her multi hex proof. Nope. 
Let's go Exalted. I'm also kind of archaeologist brained, but I was trying to play archaeologist and mentor where like you get to like dig for helping hand for mentor. And then also like I've, I've done this before, but like the card monastery mentor pairs surprisingly well with ephemerate because it's, it's a one mana protection spell that gives you two tokens, which is uh, usually pretty nice to go like mentor with ephemerate up, ephemerate rebound, get two tokens, rebound and prowess is pretty good. Um, and then Archaeologist is good with Ephemerate and Mentor. So there's like a nice little package of overlap there. And then you can be like just straight blue white with Helping Hand and Ledger Shredder. But um, I, I, I have like a draft of a list that looks like maybe playing a little too fair, but we'll see. I never liked Archaeologist and Standard Mentor. Yeah, I mean, I mean the card Ephemerate is also just. It's just it's a game changer. It, it's it's just not the same card. So on Earth, I I think I have Helping Hand right now because I just want to be two colors. We could play on Earth too. Um, I like I built it without testing it because it looks a little not very good. This is like not the last draft I had. Wait, did I build it twice? This is like an old list. I don't know. It was like I had like four bobble. It's like it's like this plus four bobble, four shredder. No, no solitudes. Four bobble, four shredder, four prismatic ending, and then just twenty lands. I greedy really take the. Uh... Surprise in the red for a couple moment. Do, do not splash colors for cards that are only good when you've played Mentor and you've played made a million tokens already. <laughs> don't don't splash a color so that when you have cast a Mentor and made a million tokens, then you could win the game. You should have already been able to win the game <laughs> by this point. Or Monastery Mentor doesn't need Goblin Bombardment to help <laughs> win a game. Uh, I had I had I had like some snap. I had, I had Snapcaster. I had um, I had uh, Temporal Trespass in some drafts. I I don't know, but like I, I'm just I'm just not sure where I'm at with the, the list. But hopefully I can figure it out at some point. It, it's kind of hard to imagine I don't cast a Leyland Binding on this Stalker at some point. So let's just do it now. Is Kellen good in the miniature deck? No, Kellen's only good in decks that are playing almost all creatures and or you know they trigger off Kellen and then you can't do that. Yeah, you can maybe splash red for breach. I, I agree. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if I can uh get that one going. I think I have to agree with that since it is possible. more surveillance. Yeah, we've we played like a Boros Mentor deck before. The idea was just that um, you, you, you're you kind of like playing Gorios, I guess, where you're unearthing Mentor instead of Goriosing a Traxa, but you like, just everything's castable and you're a lot better against Graveyard Hate if you play Counter Magic. Well, Counter Magic's... Original Subtlety and in the Bite. I draw like uh, ice and ice too. You get the round as possible without force negation. You want to play subtlety. You, you need to have some force negation. Five. We're talking about mentor bombardment and season primary. So I would I would have never ever considered playing goblin bombardment and. Alex, the deck tech. Oops. 
or maybe I don't know. I, I at the very least, like I don't know why we're not just playing. Why why we have the the, the cryptic code in the stack? I want to play the code. Um, I would also play the fourth flame of Anor before the first archmage's charm. Basically, always. Double fatal. I feel like Abzan. Yeah, I, 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 I've always felt like the wizard package to me is four tie binder, four snapcaster, four flame. It's just like I just love to have fours of all of these cards. And um, where's my exalt? I, I also don't really feel like Bowmasters is super is is I, I, I don't even I don't even really like the black splash. I, I think that Bowmasters is. I, I guess okay, maybe it's it, it is better positioned now with Lyle and Upper Span. But you have you have to see a little bit. It's still like not very good against Yogg, not very good against Titan. I would I would probably just be two colors and I'd be like playing Flame Slash Lightning Bolt and I'd be playing no Bowmaster, no Edict, I'd be playing no Cryptic Coat, no Fable, four four. Uh four Tidebinder seems super well positioned too. I would probably play one less one mana counter spell. I would play four preordain zero consider, although you can you can just kind of be on the other side of that argument if you want. Um could play this pre combat play around the other two. Um yeah, I'm not a huge the spell setter is probably not playable anymore. Your ma- your mana all just becomes like so much cleaner of two colors. You know? <laughs> also splashing pick your poison on the side. I I think I I'd really like to see the the black go probably. I just I just like it, it kind of used to be the case that yeah you get to play Orcish Bowmaster that that card card rules. It's just good against everything, but it's just not. Meta game has really shifted around Bowmaster and Bowmaster is kind of mid. I would I would recommend just being is it Splash Picker Poison or 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 you could potentially think that you want more Blood Moons in the sideboard, but you could play both also. Kind of kind of up to you. I, mean, I think I, I I guess I guess flame slash also maybe two two flame slash four bolt at the moment. I like prudent over consider and wizards. You could you could have different opinion. Play four flame four. Two. Flame is flame is just so good when you have eight wizards. Let's play that card. I think it's like abs and shadow. I'm gonna cut two fours. Bring in the extra fairy. Bring in a couple of members. Fire ice. Well, maybe we just play one. Interesting. I played so many games. The game experience has driven me to Bowmasters. I undervalue the Wizard Flame synergy. The black is only for Bowmasters. Yeah, I understand. I, I, I think it used to be like that. It used to be like that. But for for me, I just like I've been cutting Bowmasters and lists that like you would sometimes like like used to like no brainer play it. But like it isn't good against it's or it's not that good against Yogg. Not that good against Titan. Um, it it's, was actively bad against Rhinos, although maybe Rhinos is gone. It kind of, it, it, it'll depend a bit on how like the meta game shakes up. Of course, maybe that goes without saying. I just I just haven't been very happy uh, with Bowmasters lately. It, it isn't like it for me. It isn't a card worth splashing for. But you could, but you know, you could you could also just disagree and play your cool Grixis list. I I think I would not play Cryptic Coat without Stoneforge Mystic. Put this into play. I, this is this was my opening hand opponent. Promise. The black splash was for rhinos. That makes sense. That that makes no sense. Uh, Bowmasters is really bad against rhinos, and they didn't see like damnation or anything. The card fatal push is also not very good against rhinos. Better than lightning bolt though. Like your deck will be better against rhinos if you're colors. I grind it with Fatal Push and stop so much. Yeah, but you can you have you can play Flame Slash, you know. The Bowmasters is your worst card of the matchup. Also, also Tidebinder is very good against Rhinos too. Tidebinder is now really, really good against Rhinos because they're all sorcery speed. Hmm. They likely have a Bowmaster. I attack. I think I have like an okay attack. If they have bowmasters, I'm also just like not losing the the long game here. 
because they're, they're missing land drops, so I feel okay. I'll, I'll try to fire the Voidwalker after the attack and then finding this. I also just don't have... <clears throat> they just don't have it, so I guess that's okay. Probably have Reprieve? Probably, maybe, huh? I'd expect scales to do the new landscape. Um, I think scales probably is worse. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. There's maybe less force to vigorous overall, but I tend to I tend to think scales was okay against both the Cascade decks. And struggled a bit more against like Titan specifically. Full cut buff for the ban, probably. I mean, again, but very simply, if your deck did not contain violent outburst, your deck probably didn't get a lot worse, just like usual. If your 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 card didn't get banned, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it scales is really bad against Yogg, also. I think if you main deck a needle, it helps, but not super good at all. Two Death Shadows. In fact, they become 7-7. Seven, seven. Quite a lot. <laughs> I'd be at 12, but I'd also have 10 First Strike Lifelink blocking available, so I think I should... So now Yogg doesn't have any bad matchups. Um... There, there are bad matchups in the format. I think, I think the Gorios is, is kind of good against Yogg. I could be wrong about that, but I think it's okay. Um, I think that Tron could make a comeback. Tron is pretty good against Yogg. Could be a natural predator. Um, but I, I, I do agree with the thought that it does, it just doesn't have a lot of weaknesses overall. Okay, we'll see if we get blown out somehow. I think we'll be. Titan and Tron. Yeah, Titan, Titan's like bad game one. It gets a lot better post board. They fatal push their own Death Shadow. And then they hit me for 10, down to 2. Then they double gunshot me. Oh no, they don't have enough. Why is Tron tough for Yogg specifically? Um, I mean, it's kind of play Joel dependent to some extent. Like, I think that if, if, if Yogg Moth is on the play and they have a combo hand that can kill on turn 4 then it's okay, but e even that can be too slow. It's just, like, the main deck, like, a Karn for Curse Totem, Karn for Needle, Oblivion Stone, um, is, is just, it's tough for them. It's, it's just, it's just tough, and they're not quite fast enough, especially if they lose the die roll. Here we go Lush Portico and the Grixis Triome, so we can get a Surveil. What a hand. I guess Riders is still good, huh? <laughs> Another God of Shrine Gamer, that's two in a row. So probably Gorios. They're gonna take the force of negation like that. Would I ever subtlety an archaeologist here? I might. I will, I think. It doesn't really change my clock very much. And there's 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 just like a very good chance that my opponent is um not gonna be able to combo as quickly if I subtlety an archaeologist. Yeah, our Ardent Play is pretty good. Like our Ardent Play like exalted on Scion and then also giving you like more pick your poison fodder is pretty nice, bounce it to fairy. You know, when you're already going to win the game, because you have resolved a Teferi and an Arc game. Yeah, worse against Greed. Rhino Strayer Shelly, yeah. I think there's another 5 toughness card that's like a Wall of Roots. Yeah, we, we got through a Wall of Roots. Uh, thanks to the exalted the sleep. 
know, makes certain matchups slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ca- Counter spells, Tide Binder, Supreme Verdict, a lot better. A grief pitch, Gristlebrand. Or see any significant changes to Tifa version to fit an art play, or they just add. I th- so I think I think Teamer is a lot worse. I don't I don't know if Teamer survives. I like or like if there's much good reason to play this instead because it, it's I, 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 calling things Splinter Twin is like overdone or whatever. But it's like the threat of I have three mana up. You have to play around Violent Outburst or it's going to be too much power and toughness for you to beat probably. But I could also have Flame of Anor, Tide Binder, um, or Mystical Dispute. And if I have one more mana up, I also have Hardcast Subtlety. Like, this dynamic is, like, why Team of Rhinos was so good to a, to a big extent. This was, this is huge. Um, and now that, now that that dynamic is gone, I don't, I don't know that it's something you want to do. But maybe, maybe you do. I don't know. I'm not the biggest uh, Rhinos expert. I'm no Edgar. Okay, this was our cyborg plan last time, and I liked it, so let's. But I think I think something close to this will probably be like the initial drafts, and maybe it does evolve a bit more, right? Yeah, it was already a little bit nerfed by Fury, but like it was nerfed by Fury, but then they got printed uh, a lot of cards <laughs> on the draw against Gorio. You keep this hand. Force is a lot worse than Endurance in this matchup. Although, Teferi plus Force is pretty good. It's super borderline, I think. And, like, in general, I've been keeping... I've been keeping more borderline hands because of Surveil Lands lately. So, I'm gonna... I think, I think like... Or, or Surveil Lands not legal, this is a mulligan for me. Uh, with them being legal, I'm gonna keep. to play for like two in the sideboard well this is a little disingenuous like it's just kind of metagame dependent like it's still sometimes main deckable and for a long time they main decked four well they had outburst over charlotte so we could have yeah 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 i mean outburst is the better card for sure but w- one kind of funny thing is if they had banned charlotte's agent then deafening silence <laughs> could have been a good uh, sideboard card I mean, I, 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 I'm probably the only one who like thinks about deafening silence as much as this, but it's just like it just, it just could have been like the sick anti cascade sideboard card that White got access to, but because Agent is a creature, it doesn't work. That's okay. I can just bounce that with Teferi later. That seems like they have their own hard cast force up though. That's okay. Yeah, you can, I don't want to rather exist, but that card's three mana against the, against the like three mana lock pieces against three mana cards are thus. So Chalice may stop my ended outburst. Is Chalice unnecessary in the format? Well, we don't know how the metagame is going to change, but you, you should probably be playing less Cascade Hate uh, in turn of this weekend. Kind of simply put, I guess. Is it crazy or no that Bog was unaffected, just unplayable? I mean... Been the, it's been that way for a long time. I, I, I wouldn't use the word crazy. <laughs> this is how it's been. Yeah, yeah. Can, Canonus also doesn't stop Charlotte's Agent because it's an artifact. So funny. Oh yeah, we, I've got a modern tournament this weekend, so that, that's gonna be exciting. I get to hang out with my friend Young Dingo too. If I subtlety this, I don't have shields. Down. Sure. I guess I won't subtlety. Okay, they bricked, so good. Yeah, sometimes I don't know. It feels like people who haven't been in tune with things for a while they come and they go, "There's a band. Is it, is Boggles playable? No. 
All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Is it fake playable? No? All right, I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be back. I'm probably waiting till I draw a green card to cast Lauren Revealed. <coughs> Could endurance now, but the problem is this is one four. So like the one reason to endurance would be to like actually get some pressure in play, but it's not even. They discard a Tainted Indulgence, which means their hand is very good. There's, like, no shot they're discarding this unless they have, like... Their hand must be, like, Grief plus... Uh -huh. Grief plus Gorias or something. I, I can subtlety this one, though, because I have the Force up. Uh, Gix, with the five months, they go come back. I guess you can maybe have kept this. Hand must be so cracked. Gory. Yeah, I mean, I think I keep Archaeologist Gorios. Archaeologist is usually a little bit better than. A... I'm not even sure on this board that's the case because you already have one of these. I do still have um, Binding in the deck, so I'm gonna get my. Green card would be good. Very high chance they have the Gory. I'll just play Plain so I can hard both. Does the new plea version feel better or worse? It's worse. It, 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 don't even worry about feel. It, this version is worse. Is it still playable? Yeah, I think so. It is a nerf. Really just a, a balance update. Just stop cascading at instant speed with force of negation. Please. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have. I'm punished for playing my fountain. I'm just gonna hard cast my one of my lore energy. Logurk deck from standard to modern. I mean people have played Gurk and they have they have forced blue card as their last two. Uh people have been people have played Gurk. Okay. Top decked it? Did top deck it. Saltitude. The thing is, Saltitude is just kind of awkward in aggro decks. Uh, Saltitude is also not a super good card in a deck that doesn't contain um, that doesn't contain Kahira or Ephemerate. Like usually, usually to, ha to for Saltitude to be broken Modern Horizons card, like it, you really want to have one of those in your list. Um, or like better Modern Horizons card. I don't know. It's not like this. Like, it's not like. Sorry, I don't know why I forgot the child. I thought I just in my brain were just a points. Although I do get to attack Exalted though. Wait, they bounced Ardent Plea? Not their archaeologist. Okay, just chalice check. Yeah, you 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 could you could play Soul too. Dude. Probably more of a metagame call. They keep a card on top. It's probably bad news. Oh, they're playing Lush Portico over blue green or black greens. They kept Solitude on top, maybe. I know Chalice is in play, but this time it's actually corrected. Zara with the 13 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Dude, Exalted is broken. I got five toughness.
Exalted is broken. Ardently, actually better the whole time. <laughs> Ardently, actually better the whole time, huh? <laughs> now, Alpharest doesn't give that, that point of toughness, maybe. Rubus Frito, you can't play Crushing Foot. Okay. He also kept a card on top of them that didn't cast anything. So. Maybe Force Negation. Are you trolling about Karuga and Rhinos? Oh, people, people legit think that, but. Okay, everybody has to learn, right? You have Solitude and Force of Negation. They have Solitude. They cast it a little late because now I get an extra life. I guess it's Odawara, maybe, actually. It is Odawara. Okay. Um, I think there's a really good chance their other cards Force of Negation because they, they topped a card and then didn't do anything last turn. So I think while they're tapped out, I want to I wanna cast this. I mean, Reading a little bit too much into things, but to me, to me, that read really makes a lot of sense. I don't think they would have topped Odawara. I don't think I want to shuffle. Either library here. So two rhinos in the deck. I'm not really gonna shuffle like touch lands back in. If plus their Teferi, I'll probably can just cast another art in place so I attack for fun. <laughs> oh, they drew solitude? Oh. Verdict and Goros isn't super duper common. Some people do play. The science, Lunas, is Shield is to reasonable response. Yeah, I, I think Pick Your Poison is also really good. Or two Gristle. They bounce the Chalice. I, think, I don't think they know that they can. They don't have to bounce them. So you you can play you can play Bant's Living End. I, the deck will be worse, but is it? I don't think it's just unplayable. No longer play around four. If I was right, um, Sol Solitude might be really good in Living End. Also, might be bad, but it's it's at least an option. Yeah, so we go. This is no fetchables left. I'll go binding on to parry and have force. Yep. Should B3 be considered for rhinos to buy back Charlotte simply? It should be. I don't think it matters that much. We do have two copies in there. One in our main, one in our side right now. Or two in our two in our main, one in the side. Well, I think I think one I think one main one. Oh, do I have basic island? Oh, I do have basic island. in the graveyard for you thank you uh thankfully they don't have double art and plea to double exalted their grief here i feel like i'm gonna get to mystical tracks the next turn and then i have a turn to top deck the fairy leyline binding fire ice only have one to fairy one fire ice Game three. I don't know how many chalice they have. A lot of times it's just like chalice. But I think maybe I want to have or bind three at least. Maybe you should play three or four. This is really bad to draw two bindings, probably. Exalted does stack, so if you have two Ardent Please, you get two instances. On the play. 
to shave them, please. I don't think so. We have eight pitch cards, eight blue pitch cards. Post board. It, it gives exalted. <laughs> and we also just kind of need the pressure. Hoping they kind of hoping they cast. It looks like they have indulgence. So. Are we okay with being cold to indulgence in the Oreos? Let's see what we survey. I'm gonna jam. There's also sometimes a world where they just don't find ephemerate off their Atraxa and get there. Horse pitch mending. That's fine. I got my exalted baby. Kind of scary that they did an indulgence first. Yeah, they already have the thing. No Gorios yet, maybe. They're playing around. Or slash. If they do put the Teferi back on top, so if they didn't have it now, they won't have it now. Gotta hold that up. A Force of Negation, I'll dispute. Newberg, 17 months. Thank you. Welcome back. The top three mana, then they played their Marsh Flats. So gotta. One mana counter spell, but let's find out. I think I always make this face, this exact face right here. Lord revealed five mana. <laughs> Three cards. Must play better all along. <laughs> we'll see how huh? we got. <laughs> You're not the first person to ask that canister. The exalted past an O5 wall of roots. Is it? It's been. It's been. <laughs> it's been. You can bounce it with the fairy. They keep a card on top. Is that card Goria's Vengeance? If it is, then being at 7 life means they can only draw 7 cards with the Grissel Brand instead of 14. Like they have all 2 to Ephemerate. Oh, just Solitude. And now, I, now is ex are we going to get to Exalted for 6? <laughs> will we do, will we bounce by Arden Plea and Cascade again? Exalted on the stack. Exalted on the stack. Confirmed better all along. We have now, with this band announcement, buffed Violet Alchemy. No Gorios in the top three. Is the roof like a one of Zer the Enchanter? I don't think you get the Arden Plea. <laughs> if, if if you get the Cascade Trigger off Arden Plea, <laughs> I'll give you points for, for creativity here. Okay, three now. Could I, uh, it would be very funny to trophy this league. <laughs> Three oh lately, the threat. I don't know. I don't know exactly if it's good, but we're trying it right. I guess just 
I, I think you want like two Teferi in the seventy five. Are they are they both in the main? Or are they both in the sideboard? Or is one main one side? It's about where I'm at with it. Yeah, did did the five zero prediction? I think you may still be able to get in. It looks like it's already finished. Turn zero ley line, turn one ley line, two ley line. I unironically think Rhinos is better now since it lost its worst matchup. This is a, a take. For sure, Z's. Legal thing to say online. Do we, do we get to give our Scion exalted next time? Consultant and Creed just noticed the seven card packs. Does that play into my decisions at all? Uh, my decisions to consult on like what cards are good or bad in the context of modern. No, the number the number of cards in the pack were not uh, did not in influence my opinion on what the text on the card says. My scion's a little bit better than yours. Notably, they didn't reveal Gigantha. We could be on the Rhino's Mirror. Deck is good without burst, like tier good. I don't know. I play. I, we played like six matches. We're like four and two. Uh, it's play. I think it's still playable. But how how good it is is just not something you can determine. You know, three hours after a ban. But I, I have a hard time imagining this deck. It goes from by an outburst best deck in the format to ardent plea to completely unplayable. And it, it's kind of like the Fury ban too, where like Rakdos goes from best deck in the format to still playable, a lot a lot easier to play against, a lot easier to like. Ha has has like you know a much harder time with creature decks with no Fury and. Just still gets to be a part of the the format. I feel like a re relatively reasonable ban. Okay, so confirm zoo no gigantha. What's up with living in said? You might be able to play solitude in living in, which is kind of interesting. You can play ardent plea. You're likely gonna have you have white in your mana base. Could you play eagles? Eagles kind of sucks. To be fair. Um, but there, yeah, there's there's some stuff going on with living in. You have a second stub. On the draw against Domain Zoo. Some force of vigor. Sorry for rhyming. In these, at the forces. I think I'm gonna bring in the extra to fair. And then this may be a, like on the draw, no fire ice. Even the draw, no to fairies. I think the to fairies are pretty. I mean, you have demonic dread for living in, but it seems a lot better to just the so your three colors always have a target for you. Your, your cascaders don't need a target in play. We don't have domain. We do have subtlety, and we're like, we're just like a fetch land away from the sand being really, really strong. I think on the draw we can. One has their own label. In the thing you said. If you run a Forbidden Orchid for Demonic Dread and Living In, uh, they used to. <laughs> I, I don't think it would make the deck better. They do put the Ragavan on top. Basic Island. I guess I'm going to go for. Portico. Need white mana for this, anyways. I wish I knew, though. I also just don't think that strategy is very good. 
like not I'll keep a fetch line on top if I have to. I am resigning myself to not as I am getting the portico. I guess at next turn, especially if it's like looking like my opponent's got stub up. Although, of course, going Ardent Plea into Scion, Scion is a better curve. Is Force generically better since DG and things that you care about the most about hitting are our resources speed? Well, the problem is like the, the two main like DG and combo decks are Yogmoth and Titan, which are both one is trying to resolve a six mana creature, the other one is trying to resolve a four mana creature. And Force Negation isn't particularly good at stopping either of those things. Force is better against Titan, can counter Amulet, can counter Act, can counter Ring, but um, not. I want to get, get this here to make sure Ragavan doesn't steal it from the game on this. Not exactly the. Uh oh. Nice to have this beside you. I'm gonna go ahead and play around Stubborn Denial. My opponent has represented Stubborn Denial this whole game, so it feels okay to like, just take these game actions. What is Yogg's worst matchup? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, Coffers maybe. Coffers apparently is also kind of bad against um, Rhinos and Living End, and them having to play at Sorcery Speed is a, a lot better for them, I think, because they can Damnation more consistently. A little Force Negation gets there. Sure, Max, two months. Thank you, welcome back. Is this? Wait, I didn't realize. Uh, I should probably have realized this. I didn't realize this was just. I thought this, I thought this was like someone making. <laughs> I should probably have known. That. Although usually these these charts that I I've seen the charts, but like the the data always feels so low. It's like like why is, I guess four color creature. The, 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 like this is the number of matches represented by the data point. This is just like last tournament. I just always wish that they that, that these tournament that these had more data, but obviously there's you limited. Some updates based on the current state of timeless. I can try. Oh, to this was this was my list, right? Remember, I liked this deck, and I I kind of just like I liked the numbers for the most part. Um. What I liked about Reservoir over Oracle was that if you milled it over with Emery, you could still combo. I think that that probably still makes sense to me. I think Oko for for you know I'm, I'm not sure exactly. I even have a hard time I think exactly articulating why this is the case, but I haven't been like loving Oko. So you could potentially go down, but also like Oko is really good with Mox Amber and Bobble and. It's it's good with the kitten. You probably should play four Oko, but you can maybe go like one less Oko. Not sure. Not sure. They have Surge of Salvation? Oh no. I, I blocked here so that they couldn't kill my Scion. They couldn't kill my Scion after blocks. This is like not a card on my radar at all, really. Lots. I guess anti force of vigor tech. <clears throat> yeah, I would maybe play one more kitten, one less. Open. I also probably would not play all these Ashiox, but I'm not sure what I would play instead. Good tech, huh? Okay, well. Game three. Maybe you will be the Leyline gamer this time around. 
I do imagine I don't want Force of, force of Vigor. Bits, three months, thank you, welcome back. Yours looked really good there. Roll again. Gotta keep. The Cyan didn't die because they it has first strike. And they use Surge to protect it. No counter magic at the main for show and tell. I know it's just tough because your deck is just trying to I feel like you just have to sideboard for it. I, I, one one thing you could maybe do is like put a p a combo piece into play and then use that as like your put a combo piece into play and, and use that to combo off next turn if they don't have everything, but thing. I don't know. I think you just have to sideboard for it because, like, the, the kind of the main point of the the cat combo deck to me was that you get to you get to main deck to uh, chalice of the void. But that, I agree, it's less relevant now. You also have leyline binding. You can like put binding into play too. Let's see what we're drawing. And maybe sometimes get a blowout in combat. I'm I'm so behind. I think I kind of have to play. Or it's high rolling a bit. Where is the trick? Get triggers and casts, not the ET stuff for the for the show and tell. There's another ley line. I'm forced to take less damage. I think I'm just gonna try to get um. A multi-block blowout where I take them off domain and combat. But the other time I have surge up. Yeah, the thing is, like in these kind of spots where I'm stumbling, I've mulliganed, they had pick your poison for my ley line, I'm really behind. You just like you just don't have the luxury of being like, okay, I I get to play around the surge of salvation this game. It's like you just kinda have to envision like like what what is gonna go right here. And I think like part of that is gonna be a blowout on the ley line. Um, maybe they also could, they could cast a binding in combat, and then I get to force the binding. Just, just when you when you're still stumbling this hard, you can't play around stuff. Just that hard. Yeah, we swapped Hedge Mage for the blue white one. I think I thought I changed it in the box field. I guess I did. I'm gonna stream the Elden Ring DLC. I'm I'm open to it. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do a whole new playthrough or if I just want to pick up on my character. But I haven't really played the game. So I did my playthrough. Was you good matchup for Rhinos before? Um, I'm not sure either. I feel like it was like, close. Give up. Here, a little, a little. Pretty uh, messed me up with it. I'm sure if you're supposed to keep these like, I have I have removal plus Scion kind of hands, but I think I, I think I go try it against Boros Convoke probably. Hard to imagine like turn two scion, turn three scion plus binding is bad. Although I didn't have the second binding hand, but I oh, we're just gonna fire two tokens here. Well, they don't have a convoke card in their hand. Maybe I shouldn't, because like if they had one, they would have used. What am I playing around? I'm playing around. Bushwhacker. I think I'm good. Let's 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 go ahead and cast it. Hey Mingu. Big day today, huh? Wizards really do be doing things at random. The clue they have two drills to pay off, or they have to have land. You've summoned it here for them. Well, ah, <laughs> fuck. Why doesn't my Scion have hexproof and lifelink? 
Yeah, the day our pet deck is good again. <laughs> Always fun. We're taking eight down to seven. We got three cards in their hand over. Astral's Leyline, I guess. Cascader would be pretty good too. Fuck here. Kill a token of combat. Take five, then go down to two. Hard cast subtlety, walk block. Puts that they have nothing versus Icing instead, trying to find Layla. Cascader seems better. I did I did graveyard the other subtlety. Go to two. Now because we didn't be ice instead of fired though, we are gonna be dead even if they do have nothing, which kinda stinks. And they do have nothing, which stinks, and I drew I, I drew <laughs> a sequence. Um I feel like our our, our thinking there sound enough though. Down a game against Boros Convoke. Carry. The forces. I guess. I guess they have eight. Countering. Countering their Gleeful Demolition is like actually pretty pretty big deal. Don't think I want Dismember. Um. Don't think I love Endurance. Endurance would be the word. That's slow. Yeah. Yeah. If we 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 need a Cascader or Playline. The play. Leyland Scion. We have a Scion. Can't. You can cast it after we. <laughs> uh, or revealed for Zan. I think I can keep Force Negation in the turn 3 right. Scion Fall. Keeping this seems okay also, because if they're on. I, I could pitch this. I, I get four. I can have force or subtlety up, which is probably okay. They play Solus Jailer, so now I can play around Solus Jailer. Well, I feel like Chalice is way better. Planes go. XW. Must be on Solus Jailer. Mm -mm. What is happening? You have Hallowed Moonlight? There's no chance you have that. Reprieve in your Boros Convoke deck? Transitioning. I'm, I'm casting this. What, what in the world are you keeping as the Boros Convoke player? You have Resolute? Please Resolute reinforcements me. Thank you. Okay. You have a play. Yeah, we, we beat Yogg this league. The Exalted was really nice against Wall of Roots. Funny enough. That matchup should still be good, yeah. Yeah, I think it's been, I've been growing it out. I'm not sure how long I'm going to go, but I think a little bit longer. I'm gonna fire, I think, instead of Scion. This deck, deck just really stuck hard if they don't have. I like there's a reason to kill all these guns. Like, <laughs> think of one. I was like, no's good highest sometimes here. Yeah, I, I think I, I've been, I, I'm, I'm mumbling a little bit too much. Yeah, I agree. 
I, I set the noise gate up higher because Uster had a uh, family over on Saturday. They're yelling at each other. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it down a little bit. I'll, I'll mess with it some tonight. Okay. Um, fourth force negation on the draw could be could be important. Probably not that. Although if they have Chalice, it's kind of nice. Let's bring it in. They cut a land on the draw. I could probably cut the Basin. Good afternoon, Trent. Well, let's keep this and play around some removal. I'll put in two of the ley lines and keep another one to pitch. Forces only for rebirth, glim and demolition. Yeah, but they have they have eight of them and and also also chalice, also chalice, most board. But also stopping it's pretty important. But potentially, like I I've played four chalice and Boros could vote because like if you draw multiples, you can just gleeful demolition, extra copies. Be cool to see if they could just overpower a lifelink flying scion. Probably not, but you can do some crazy stuff with Boros. All right, let's hold up the binding. <laughs> I say as I play my basic forest on turn one. <laughs> awesome, Trent. Have a have a happy wedding. Taking the whole week off for wedding sounds really nice. You can't cast a chalice on zero with another chalice on board. That's what I'm saying. You you gleeful demolition or Kandoth rebirth your first chalice, and then you just play the other one. That gives you an artifact for these where they loot away gleeful demolition playing perfectly around by maybe they kept a one lander if they kept a one lander they're probably shocking and listen sacred foundry instead yeah maybe just playing around ley lines fine we have multiples of these. Two basic planes seems like a lot in your Goblin Bushwhacker deck. Two recruiters here. Keep that. Will Merktide shine more now due to the ban? Uh, Merktide's pretty bad against Yawgmoth, so... Hard to say. Modern versus standard deck. The deck is a lot, a lot better at modern. Like, you have you have eight of the rebirths. You have Goblin Bushwhacker. Um, the Ornithopter. The Pioneer 2. Getting, getting to play eight of these is just so, so ridiculous. I also think this deck should splash black for Bowmaster. I do agree with their, you know, math is for blockers, philosophy. But in binding recruiter, and then see what happens. Oh, I guess maybe binding the knight errant is better, because if they can kill this somehow, <laughs> they get the ET. Or just has to run for scoldings. Uh, it's it's pretty tough when uh, you, they, you have you, you keep a hand on the draw with like two scoldings. You're feeling great, and then they just go like <laughs> they just go halfling on turn one, and you just don't have a removal spell. Feeling so bad as Merktide. Okay, surely we're not dead. Gaining eight on the block here. I do I do really appreciate that they're just they're just. Get in. Down to seven. Gabroth with the 49 months. One says GG's, GG's to you too. Yep. GG's take a top deck. The aggro gamer way.
<laughs> concedes before I can settle T. Okay, 4-1, but we're, what, 5-3 and three overall? I don't know. Is... Rhino's playable. Rhino's playable. I, th- I think it does make, I think you really should be the ley line version now. Since, like, Team of Rhino's just, that, that inst- that holding up 3 mana, holding up 4 mana for them was just so crazy. Oh, open to 1 ring. Pretty nice. Um, tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of like take a breather, try to figure out if I can get some insights on like how-